You can just come grab a glass. You can grab the bottle. Pour you a little something up. Cheers to a good YouTube channel. Cheers to success. And cheers to... I mean, look at the sun. This is beautiful. This is me quarantining. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy JT back with the Hero Academy. Today I'm going to show you guys how I was able to recreate my living room in virtual reality. Now, with no coding, no Unity, or no programs or software, the easiest way to do it is using Oculus Homes. And I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Keep watching. Welcome back to my living room, both physically and virtually. So I'm going to show you guys today how I was able to recreate my living room in virtual reality. So. In, able to, in order to do that, I overlaid virtual objects on top of physical objects. So this couch right here, this yellow one, this virtual couch is overlaid on top of my physical couch in real life. So I can just come over here and have a seat and I can relax and chill like uh, I would in my physical living room. So if you see, I got the rug to match up on the floor. I got the second couch up here. Um, and you can see my avatar. If I want to, I can come over here, grab this bow and arrow, have some target practice out the window. You know, when you want to get better at first person shooters before you actually open the game up. I got a little laser rifle, just like that. So look, got some laser, pra laser tag uh, practice in the living room. So this game system right here, this is, this is what's cool. If I want to open a... If you want to open an app, instead of just going to an app menu, you would, get, you would grab the cartridge. Like this is Echo VR. You would blow on it, put it in the system, press the button, and a VR headset will pop up. So basically, you'll put the headset on and it'll take you inside of the game or the app of whatever you open. So it's like VR within VR. We're in the matrix. That's what's funny. Um... So yeah, like I said, here's a couch lined up with the couch in uh, real life. I can just come over here. And that's crazy, look what's on TV. I'm watching myself, watch myself in VR. Virtual reality, playing virtual reality, watching myself do it while in virtual reality. That's crazy. It's like um, in a different dimension, uh, sharing an experience of someone in the real world in another dimension. Oh, I have this basketball court. Let me see, can I find the basketball? Where's the basketball? Um, where did I put the basketball? Oh, there you go. Look, watch this. What's up? Yes, sir. Hold up. I get the point. This is this is uh, my virtual dimension overlaid on top of my physical dimension. And I did this using um, Oculus Homes on PC VR. I'll actually show you guys how I did it in a second. Now, the biggest thing that helped me is what I did is I would go into settings, I went to my guardian, and what I wanted to do is I wanted to make sure that the glanceable boundary was on. So that way, whenever I look down, I'm not sure if you can see it, but whenever I look down, I'll see the outline of my boundary space. So that gives me really a sense of where I'm going to end up putting my virtual, my virtual objects on top of my physical objects. Because when I make the boundary, I'm going to outline the biggest physical objects that I need to have in sync with my virtual space. So having this glanceful boundary on will help you be able to constantly look down and see where you need to be able to place your um, virtual items. Mm -hmm.